Good afternoon and greetings to everyone at the forum from Hong Kong. I'm standing here by the harbor, as you can see, in Tamar Park, which is near the seat of Hong Kong's government. As far as I can understand it, I've been asked to respond to a paper on strategies for dealing with lawfare, which is the idea of weaponizing the law for use by authoritarian regimes. The people of Hong Kong are no strangers to lawfare. This has been going on for several years since the handover from British colonial rule to rule by the PRC in 1997. In 2019, in June, people finally had enough and began to stand up in massive numbers to what was really the straw that broke the camel's back. And that was an amendment to the extradition bill, which would allow the PRC, the People's Republic of China, to extradite people from Hong Kong to China for offenses allegedly committed there. For people in Hong Kong, this was too much. One of the things that the Hong Kong protesters have done to make their movement sustainable for the, for the last eight and a half months against enormous odds and difficulties has been to communicate very effectively amongst themselves. This is a leaderless movement where everybody is a leader in their own right. This is in contrast to previous movements which have been relying on the establishment such as uh, well-known legislators and lawyers and barristers. This movement is more organic and more grassroots. The other thing that the Hong Kong protesters have done very effectively is to reach out to other countries in the world and in the region. As you can see from the images, the protesters are seen in almost all of the rallies carrying flags of the United States, of the United Kingdom, of France and other countries, other Western countries around the world. This has been effective in terms of building relationships in legislatures, especially in the United States. This is a long-running conflict with the Chinese Communist Party. The students know exactly what they're doing. They're fighting for their lives. I just have uh, a few more things to say. Thank you to everyone who've organized this, uh, this forum. Thank you for inviting me. And uh, my support to Senator Leila de Lima. Freedom for de Lima now, five demands, not one less.